to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. The legend in the room, his name is Common Sense. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Common as he's known now because he's an actor. <laughs> that you was know. like 20 years ago. <laughs> I know. Right. No, I like how it. long ago did you, how long ago now did you lose sense? 25 years ago? Yeah, that was like, a while. that was 95, man. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was tough in my life too, man. Cause Why? Because you know, when you, when you, choose a name especially in hip-hop you like look i'm common sense and then people started knowing me like it took time for people to get to know coming from chicago it took time for me to get known by anybody so soon as i started getting known that was the album resurrection i used to love a common sense people was giving me a little love yeah then a, a group had the same name and they straight it was like they busted a lawsuit real oh, quick. Damn. Quick. Quick. Enough that they pulled the sense off of the later copies of Resurrection. Bro, the my, early ones say common wait, sense. So I, by the way, didn't know about the other group. This is 95. This is also when Biggie Smalls yes. had to deal with the white Notorious. rapper yeah. 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 kid and yeah. flip from no, Biggie Smalls to Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, no, nah, this group was... They was like doing local performances in California, but their business was together. Their business was together. <laughs> My business, you know, it was like the first, you know, when you're doing your first album, you try to get whatever lawyer you can. If you don't got any, like, I ain't have a lot of people around me that knew the business. So we was just geeked to just get signed. So basically, my label was like, nah, you know, it's a cease and desist order. So you got to change his name. Yo, you ain't gonna better sell no albums under the name Common Sense. Damn. And like you said, P, we had to. We had to remove the old, the old albums that had common sense. They had to, they had to stop those. They had to pull those. And it's crazy because now it seems like a footnote. You've been common for so long, right? Like our parents and everyone knows you as common because yeah. you've become this household name. But I'm, yeah, it must have been a thing. You must have been tight at the it time. It was a thing, bro. That's when I started losing my hair for real. I, <laughs> I, was, st I was stressed out, man. But you know, it's it's something how the divine work though, because. Now I'm embracing common. You know, of course I had to, but it feel almost better that that it, it became common. And the people that know, like they didn't know me as common sense. He bro, like yo, common sense. It just right, felt right. natural. So that kind of let me know. Well, the people, even where people know you, even from. in yeah, the exactly. actor space, where some rappers that became actors and yes. started acting. You would see in the credits, you would see their government, yeah. and then their rapper name is kind of in quotes in the in middle. Quotes. You didn't even do that. I didn't do that. I'm I'm starting to think about doing that, man, because it's like. I don't know. I've been feeling better on the sets and everything. When people, I'll be like, call me Rashid. You know, that's my middle name. That's what people, and I'm like, man, I, I, I'm probably going to start at some point just just going by Rashid Land, but, you know, putting common. Initially, I was like, I need to make, get this crossover understanding of people. Because some people have seen me in acting. They don't even know I rap, like, for real. Right. And it's like, so, and then some people, I'm like, Yo, some of the people watching our show now, they they got Apple TV Plus because they see Common in it. Right. So I'm like, I got to utilize that. You build your name for a reason. Yo, yeah, that's crazy, though. You walk a real interesting space of people who yeah. see you and go, <gasps> and then people are like, I, I know you from somewhere. Bruh, bruh. Like, you have all of it in Yo, there, right? Bro, it'd be like some people, I mean, just yesterday this dude was like, man, where I know you from? Where I know you from? And I mean, sometimes I'll tell them exactly so they ain't going through the whole thing. So what thing. do you say then? What, what sometimes i be like, man, I'm a soccer player. Or, or you know, <laughs> I'll just be like, just saying, I mean, or i say, listen, yeah, you might have seen me in some movies or something. And then I'll try to, because they'll be like, where do I know you from? Where do I? And there'll be sometimes younger dudes saying that. So they know me from, you know, either a movie or something. They know they, they know the face. But I still... Well, it's also now, it's, it's so terrible out here. The bald head beard thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yo. But, bro, it rough out here, bro. But look, I told Common early on, I was like, bro, you got to... I had the beard first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, actually, you did you gotta, know. Though. You got to abandon that, bro. He, he does, but he doesn't... Actually, you, I had wrong. it first. We've Ebro. argued Ebro. about this for a long Ebro. time. He knows. Ebro. He knows Ebro. I had it first. I had it first, bro. Nah, yeah, bro I'm older than you, too. You know that? I had, I had older than you, and yet his beard is so much well, tighter I got, and I got a little blacking in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's an actor. Yeah, He's got to keep a look. Yeah, I just I come up here while out. Exactly. You know, I matter. love that, though. That's the, that's the flavor. That's like that, that blackness, baby. Yeah, that's you it. Know, so yeah. if, you, if you weren't acting or anything, would you be I would let, let it go, Greg? I would let it go. I would let it go. But, you know, some of the characters I'm playing... I'm playing 41 year old 40. I gotta like you know keep that freshness. So. Well, and on that, so the show Silo, I've been telling Rosenberg. And yeah, I'm psyched to start. Yo. I haven't started yet, but I'm psyched yo, to start. Yo, you, gotta, you go dig it, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, We're not wait. fucking with bro. <laughs> yeah, he's off. Hey, bro. 
This the op. This the yo, op. Yo, that's what th- that's what you may think. And and look, my character is 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 fucking on some like judicial enforcement. Now I saw government. they tried to weave in the fatherhood shit of yeah, you yeah. laying in the bed with your yeah. kid and all that dynamic and show the softer side. Yeah. You, but yo, my man. Yeah. I'm I can't even tell you, bro. Bro kills people, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. People yeah. come up missing fucking it, with bro. It, it's for the right reasons, though. It's for the reasons. It's for the silo. It's for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? For the it's silo. for the silo. It's for the silo. You know, I ain't gonna front. Like, getting that character, I was like, damn, I'm straight playing, like, the opposite of what I would be, you know, and, and who I am in society. Because I ain't, you're right. I ain't well, so, gonna... And so let me, for the audience, you haven't watched it. They live in a silo. There's 10,000 people that are in this silo. They know nothing about their past. They don't know why they're in the silo. They don't know who built the silo. They don't know what's going on outside the silo. They're scared to go outside. If you ask to go outside the silo, all they see is people see this camera and people go out there and die. They don't know if the environment's killing them. They don't know if somebody else is killing them. So there's a faction of people. And the audience doesn't know either? The audience don't know either. There's a faction of people who are trying to find out the truth. But it's against the law to even have what they call relics. So somebody will have like a handy cam or a hard drive. If you have that and it has info. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's It's against the law. Right. It's like, yo, that was a great description of the show. And, that, and, and and the thing is, it made you it made me when I first started reading the scripts, I was like, man, this is a this is a great ass story. Like the just the mystery of it. But then it made me start thinking about all the stuff that we accepted that we told that we never think about. I mean, I mean, we people that's aware, but think about this in society and even even that, even being aware, I'm like, man, all the stuff we just been through, what was really real and what it is not. Mm. And this show make you like question those truths, cause as, as Ebro was saying, like the like these relics, they like yo, you can't have that like your cell phone. Well, how do who determines if it's good or not? They they determine if people can get pregnant or not. Oh right, that you point. know it's like it's it's some. And how real, many episodes? It's ten episodes. There's only six out now. Okay, so it's dropping weekly. Yes, yes but it's weekly. six in. Yes, yeah, and it's on weeks. Apple TV Plus. A- Apple TV Plus. Because a lot Plus. of people right now, you know, you got a lot of people looking for that show. Succession just ended. I know. You got a is, lot of people being yeah. like, "Where's my next?" Yeah, well, and this, this, this is definitely time. this is this definitely a show like. You know, uh, I know in my household, like when I'm watching a show with my lady, right? Yeah. I know what she's gonna like and what she's not gonna like. And there's shows she's not gonna be able to get into because it takes them a, lo- a little bit of time to build. A lot yeah. of dudes suffer through this. So we <laughs> have an ADD for shows. Well, and then if the show, yo, and then if the show, no man, yo, and like, if the on. show ain't sexy and there's yeah. no outfits, yeah. Yeah. yo, this show is grimy. Yeah. Like it's dirty. Yeah. They're in a silo. People are just getting by. Like it ain't fly. Yeah. The the circumstances that they're in. But right? is your girl in or no? She's a, yeah, it's I'm not waiting time. for her. She'll jump in and out. <laughs> it take a little time, man. I ain't go front, but but severance of time, miss. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Some of them like like it takes time to develop, and they want to build that world. But I have had, you know, some of my friends like, man, I gotta wait on my wife to watch it. But I, I, don't know, wait so, on your wife, bro. Yeah. Watch it. Let them catch up when they're gonna catch I had, up. I talked to a guy the other day, my good friend. He goes, I haven't watched Succession since season one. I was like, what? He's like, my wife says. All the characters are negative. I was like, <laughs> you, can't watch show. you can't let your wife you control what you You're watch. missing a classic? Well, because here's what happens, though. And see, and you know this. What happens is, is you only have a certain amount of time in a day yeah. to couple up and be a couple. Yeah. Right? Everybody working all day, whatever's going on. And so in those windows where you get to couple up, y'all yeah. want a show. Yeah, no, I'm with that. Right? And yeah. so if she don't like the show. It can make it hard. If you're like, yes, yeah. no, nah, but I got some homies that too. They like, man, my wife like, don't go watch the next episode till till right. I watch it. So, and man, I had this cat come to me the other day. He was like, man, it was this white cat. He was from San Francisco because I was picking his brain because he said, man, I've been watching Silo. And he was like, man, me and my daughter watch it. She's 22 years old. We don't got nothing to talk about, but we talk about Silo. Wow. And I was like, yo, that's dope. You know, you never think about the bridges it can cause. But I, I, I've been wanting to be a part of something that's just like hit the zeitgeist and got a certain level like on that succession level or Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. And I feel like we starting to tap in. Like this been Apple um, number one drama that Apple has ever had like yeah. right now. Oh, it's so really it's we, blowing we, up like it's that right now. Yeah, like so that. we get, we right behind Ted Lasso on the, on the, on the Apple page. That's, well, that's where you're trying so to wait, be. So wait, you ain't watched it. I haven't watched it, man. I can't. It got, I mean, I watched some some pieces because I had to like going into the work that we're doing. Like I was, I was like, let me see what what else I need to to work right, on. Right. But I, I mean, I, I ain't gonna front. I did watch this episode that just passed 
with the and it, man, it got me. I was like, cause I, you know, after you film it, you kind of forget what right. was happening. I was watching it like, oh shit. But listen. doesn't it help you as an actor to see <clears throat> the other scenes and the other parts of the story that you're not directly involved in kind of come? It definitely does. But but this with this silo, it's kind of tripped out because it is only ten thousand people. But it's almost like his own town, and you don't interact with everybody. That's like, real. It's, it's like a it's like a class. And what's crazy is, like Ebro was saying, how. There's no history of recorded history, so people don't know certain things. It ain't no racism or sexism. Yeah, he was saying racism in the thing. But at it's all. classism. Right. And it's like, so my I'm working with judicial. I don't go down to the down deep, which is basically like the hood or you know. So the, the blue down collar. deep is where all the mechanics are and all yeah. the people who keep the machines running right, and yeah. keep the whole ventilation system going and they're grimy and like they doing they, the real work. They're yeah, doing, doing real the real work. work. Doing the real work. So it's it's crazy because just the other day we had like a little get together. I had a little barbecue for some of the cast. We kicked it, and I met some people on the show that I had never even met because we just don't work in the same spaces. But it's it's a dope. Ain't show. no elevator. So there's ten. It's a silo. You gotta walk that bitch. Hundred levels. Hundred levels. So get, people that, that live in the down deep, they've maybe never even made that walk. It's crazy. Oh, it's, that's ill. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Truthfully, I didn't even realize that's what a silo was, but thank you for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it initially when they first was like, we yeah, do a silo. I, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. But yeah. it's, it's an ill show. It's yeah. an ill show. Yeah. And I definitely believe they poisoning people that go out to do cleaning. Man, I mean, I ain't saying... Not, you know, I, that's a little spoiler alert, yeah. but that's my own. That hasn't been proven. That's my own. Yeah. But that's what I love. Like, man, my homies be calling me like, yo... So what is this and what's that? And they got their own beliefs and yeah. theories about what's going on outside or is is it somebody being poisoned? I'm like, man, I can't say nothing. I'm just geeked at like my people watching. You know, yeah. that we watching and they asking me these questions and, and thinking about it in well, that way. Well, and to your point, it definitely <clears throat> challenges the idea of who has the power to say who has power. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, 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 the caste system and the like socioeconomic kind of system of it all. Uh, the classism yeah. is all in there. And then just the desire to know, like, because even in our regular every day, there's people who give a fuck about how we got to this point in society. There's mad people who don't give a fuck. Yeah. Man, we see that all the time. They don't and, give a fuck about the story. Yeah, and but it's just too like, man, the shit we be getting told is like, damn, okay. I mean, I thought about like, you know, because in Silo, they, they, tell, they telling people, hey, man, this is what, if you do this, then... This is gonna go wrong. Like if you go out, your life is gone. Or this is what's on the screens. They just creating what they want to create. So I was thinking, like, man, you know, when we was young, studying in, in, in school, like we were told Christopher Columbus discovered America. When we saw Native Americans was here, but we still was accepting that shit. Like mm -hmm. Christopher Columbus discovered it's America. The program. It's the programming, and like, yo, what do you or like shit just during the pandemic? What was true and what was not? Mm -hmm. You know, and I ain't no big conspiracy looking for everything wrong, but I just like feel like, okay, you got to think for yourself to a certain degree. Well, mm -hmm. even on that, the pandemic where, you know, we was having them debates every day up here, what's real, what's not, whatever. And yeah. a lot of times I was sort to shit, people dying. Yeah. And they saying, if you do this, you're not going to die. Right. right, and that's what a lot of times. Yeah. They so yeah. I'm doing yeah. the one that yeah. was, has the one. <laughs> that's where the I option. Yeah. I'm being given. Yeah. yeah, and in the silo, and the reason I bring that up in the silo, there's specifically shit. That's like, hey, if you say X and yeah. you want to do X, go on. Yeah. But you're going to die. Right. But that, but, that, but that bring me to my character, too. Like, when I planned this character, I was like, man, I'm working saying, man, I'm like, I'm part of judicial. That's the, like, that's the mixture of government, CIA. Police, like, I'm yeah. the I'm the head of security nah, for judicial. Op, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking, this guy's the fucking ops. But yo, but the, on but the level I was think, it's on the level, but look. Y'all not going to like bro, our guy. Y'all yeah. not going to like him. Yo, but I, but I but like But you're him. a good actor for that. Thank you, brother. I had Thank to, you, when bro. you, even the interview, I was going to cancel it. I was like, I don't know if I'm <laughs> fucking with him right now. He gets very confused. It's hard for him. He want to know. He want to know. He want to know. He see you. be like, I see you on the street. Be like, yo, fuck you, yeah, bro. Right. That's some bullshit, yeah, bro. I know, man. Yo, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, not right nah, now. Exactly. Not right. This this feels like though you seem excited about it in a different way than we've seen you with movies. Like, yeah. does it feel like right now you play a part in a movie? Like you were wonderful in Selma, for example, right? Yeah. You pop up in a movie, you have a part, you have a few lines, is neat, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But this is different. Like, nah. these shows recur and they become a part of people's lives. Yeah. Are you feeling that already? I feel, I feel that, man. I feel like this has been like the one of the greatest 
projects, like film or TV-wise, I've ever been a part of. Just for the quality of it and the way people respond to it and my, the, what I get to do with the character. Look, I'm getting to play somebody that is opposite of me. I want people to be like, I like them, I don't like them. Right. But it's giving me a chance to, to develop within this character and show different sides. Like, this this dude is judicial, but he's still a family man, too. And that's how human beings, like, it's nobody is all good and bad in life right. or in the silo. So it's like to get that type of development and work with these actors. I'm working with Tim Robbins, man. Shawshank Redemption was one of my favorite movies. You know what I'm saying? And Rebecca Rebecca Ferguson, one of the incredible actresses. So for me, it is one of the- David Ayello. It's Ayello. the dopest. David Ayello, Rashida Jones, it's like- Oh, Rashida Jones too? Yeah. yeah it's, Rashida it's, Jones in there oh, for wow. a quick minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. come on, man. Sorry, yeah. let it be. Yeah. Let it be. Yeah. But, but it is, like, I'm, I'm super grateful that I'm a part of this one. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's on the music? Uh, Man, I'm playing for you. I've been I'm, soon as I finish what we doing now. Like I'm like looking forward to cook. I'm about to cook up, man, because I've been like feeling to do some music, and I've been really con connecting with some like some of the guys, like Pete Rock and some of them guys. I want to do something to just why not just give me that boom back. Like it ain't because if I do music, it ain't like I'm doing it to be like I need to get out and be on the radio and this and it's that. Pressure it's pressure free. It's pressure free. Make I'm doing whatever it for you the want. love, man. And, I just well, want to make music people feel. On that, you know, here at the show, uh, we came up with this terrible idea to uh, do the top 50 hip-hop records of all time Yeah. Uh, for the 50 years of hip-hop. Yeah. And the reason I say it's a terrible idea is because how do you narrow down to 50 records? But we're doing yeah. it. We're trying. Uh, so far on the list, um, we have Nas, If I Ruled the World, Payton for Eric B. Rakim, Juicy Biggie, Nicki Minaj, Roman's Revenge, Kanye Through the Wire, Grandmaster Flash, The Message, Nas, New York State of Mind, J. Cole, no role models. The Loonies, I got five on it. I forgot that mm -hmm. made it on it. Well, that was the weed day. Most Def, <laughs> Miss Fat Booty, Wu-Tang Clan Cream, mm -hmm. Far Side Running, Tribe Car Quest, Bonita Applebum, Royce the 5'9", Boom, mm -hmm. yeah. Triumph, Wu-Tang Clan, mm -hmm. Slick Rick, Children's Story, yes. Biggie, One More Chance, Lil' Kim, Big Mama Thing, 50 Cent in the Club, yeah. uh, Dougie Fresh, uh, and uh, Slick Rick, Lottie Dottie, Mob mm -hmm. Deep, Shook Ones, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Also Meek Mill, Dreams and Nightmares, Wu-Tang Clan, Method Man, mm -hmm. Rough Riders Anthem from DMX, Raekwon Ice Cream, yes. Kanye Jesus Walks, of course. NWA Straight Outta Compton, yeah. Eminem Lose Yourself. And that's so far. Now, we're doing this every week. Each of us on the show submit two records. So 10 records go up, and then the audience gets the final vote. I still yeah. think we need to rediscuss at yeah. the end. Because I think there are some we still need to go. Over. We need to just yank well, and make, a, some, make an executive decision. Them, there's some that when you say them, I go, mm. What about scenario, trial call quest? It's I been submitted. That. So scenario's been submitted, I think, once. So far, Benita's the one that got in. Yeah, it got in. What but, about like, Big Daddy Kane, like, um, Raw? We submitted... Uh, ain't no half step. Ain't no half step. Ain't no half step. Okay. Um, has Raw been submitted? No. I don't know. Raw what about the symphony? Symphony hasn't got submitted yet. But we have to go. So we broke it up in eras. Yeah. So it's like 79, it's impossible, 84, right, it's right. Impossible. 85 right. to 89, 90 to 95, 96 to 2000, yeah. 2001. Like we broke it up in chunks. So each week we could come in and kind of try to focus. But um, what would you what would you what'd you say? You said, I said symphony. The symphony. And scenario. I, yeah, and and scenario. 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 I want to put a rock him in there too. Oh, we got paid full, paid full in paid, paid but, there's so, but you could do Eric B as president. Yeah, oh, um, man. You could I've been, do... I was listening to that a lot. I was doing this play. I ain't man. no joke. It's my shit. That video. When I used to see that video on them in green and blue, like them suits and flavor flavors in that shit. They were dancing in that shit. Oh yeah, that, I forgot. I forgot. Was, man, I ain't no joke. But I was, Eric B for president was incredible. But y'all, I mean, I go to the ghetto. What about my philosophy? My philosophy. Uh, okay, my right. philosophy got I submitted. submitted that. Got yeah, submitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My philosophy. Now, I got a crazy idea. Though. Sound of the police got submitted. Yeah. So, so you. Oh yeah, that's that's. That, come on, that has what, to be what submitted. What about respiration? Uh, that got I submitted. Us, I think respiration may have been submitted. I got to. I got to submit one. And I'm no, 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 well, we saying, have. A, we was we, gonna say we have an idea. We have an idea. Okay. okay. Uh, we want to submit this week. Mm -hmm. I used to love her. Yes. Come on, man. But, I, was, I was waiting to hit that on now, the list, man. Come but on. but to celebrate that. How do you feel about us queuing up that instrumental and giving us a little live version of oh, yeah. I Used to Love? Are you yeah. down for that? Yeah, I used to love a live yeah, 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 Come yeah. on, put your headphones yeah. on, mate. Can we go? Can we? We? I want to do the whole thing or the first? You can do the first. Whatever you want. Your common sense. You do whatever yeah. you want. Whatever you want. I mean, this is this is my submission for the week, e bro. This is. So wait, the live version is gonna go up to get voted on? No, no, no. It's just the song. But I'm sure if we have the opportunity to have the man in the house himself, why not hit him? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. But this is a re because uh, Tom, the ones I look at, I always try to look for stuff that are not only great songs that you can listen to, but songs that meant something. Meant some, you know what so I mean? Because like this, yeah. this song really meant something yeah. at the time. Yeah. Like you remember, people were like when they figured it out, like the yeah. first time you heard it then. Yeah, that's man. I was. That's why I said when we earlier talked about common sense. This song was the first time that like I remember Biggie. You know, back back then you used to get quotes from artists like like Biggie says this or another. And Biggie gave me some love when I used to love it and different, you know, Nas, I came out here and Nas, you know, and Nas is for me one of my greatest inspirations. He was like, yo, you doing your thing. And I was like, oh man, you know, being in Chicago and getting that was like a stamp. And I was like, man, and it was that I used to love her. So I'm glad y'all y'all considering also, that. I don't know. I also, it was records that came like, I used to. I don't think the movie like the, maybe it does, but in my mind, the movie Brown Sugar happens because of I used to love. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like the that's there was a great, that's a really like good hip, point. Like thinking of hip hop as a as a, uh, a as an entity as yes. a as a living breathing being being yes, right. Yeah, that yeah. it started yeah. with I used to love her for the most part. No, right? They told me Brown Sugar, point blank, the writer of Brown Sugar, Mike Elliott, had come to me to write on something else. Um, that Carmen hip hopper thing that Beyonce and right, most right, did, right, right. but I wasn't ready yet. So I, I know for sure I used to love an inspired Brown Sugar. Um, mm. I mean, he kind of he ain't say it to me, but it, it's just it's all over the. But then when you and Erica came back around and did the uh, love of it? my life, love, love of my, my life. life. Yeah, I was. Geek. That was almost like I used to love a part two. It was. It, it was wasn't technically. It was. We. I mean, that was the first time I ever. We sat in a theater and they screened a movie for us, and I was like. Man, this movie actually is like based around I used to love her kind of, and and they was referencing I used to love her, so I was geeked up about it. And then Eric and I was like, "Yo, let's light this joint up." She was like, "Yo, we need to do like a part two. We had Cool Herc in the video. It was it was, it was a real tribute to hip hop." So fifty years later, yo, we and, still and, celebrate our culture. And you did culture. a third one, basically. Oh yeah, with the, the roots. roots. Yeah. Act two, love of my right. life. Act it's two, basically, love, yeah. you can you kind of continue yeah. the story. Yeah, I mean. I think, you know, I felt good that artists was inspired, whether it was Eric or The Roots, to be like, yo, we're going to do a, our own version. And they was like, yo, come on, Ross, do this. I really hope that the kids who fall in love with hip-hop these days, the way they're introduced to it, I hope it allows for them to feel the way we all felt and the way we felt it on your so record. Like a, it was a real part it, of your identity. It was a part, yo. I hope they can still get that through TikTok Rosenberg, and all that. Rosenberg, you just described exactly why, like... It, when people ask me about the difference in the eras, it's a feeling that like this this music and culture like was just a part of who we were. Like, like I know about being a vegetarian because of KRS One. That's right. I I, I There's lived, books you read because of hip hop. It's books I've read. It's like meeting. I know certain Bibles, um, certain books in the Bible because KRS broke down. That's you uh, know. That's and the only why is that? I know who's on. Why is that? Why, why is that? Why, why is that exactly? <laughs> and it's like. Man, that 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 was like informing of who we were, and it also was just showing like it's other people that think like us. It gave us kind of heroes to look up to, and it also connected us too. Oh, yeah. it you was found a, your tribe through it. You find you found your tribe, man. Like, and and it was like you could go from being a part of the Tribe Called Quest, De La Tribe, to to being part of like Rock Kim and Big Daddy Tribe to to the NWA, yeah. and still like identify with all of it. And I think. That was the beauty of it and the feeling, like that feeling, man, I don't know. Like it it, it was just the experience and, and because it was like just beginning and then it was developing and it was so pure. That's what I used to love is talking about, the purity of it. Mm. Once once like you get corporations to certain to certain things and you start looking at numbers and figuring out these things, you take away, you extract like what Cause we was just knowing doing it because we loved it. And That's it's right. the innocence that you have when you're doing it because you love it. That that just you get some of the best creativity. You get the spirit that why we felt Method Man like just rhyming or Biggie rhyming. It's like it's a feeling, and it was like more than numbers. And but as soon as we start getting into the numbers, it can it well, can take away. Maybe no song got into that feeling more than this one right here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes y'all, and get don't stop. Uh, to the beat, y'all, and get don't stop. A uh, yes, yes, y'all, and get don't stop. A uh, one, two, y'all, and get don't stop. A uh, yes, yes, y'all, 
and you don't stop Until the beat comes, since to be the short shot Come on, I met this girl when I was 10 years old What I love most, she had so much soul She was old school, I was just a shorty Never knew throughout my life she would be there for me on a regular Not a church girl, she was secular Not about the money, studs might checking her I respected her, she hit me in the heart A few New York niggas had did her in the park She was there for me, I'm there for her Pull out a chair for her, turn on the air for her And just cool, cool out, cool out, cool out And listen to her, sitting on bone Wishing that I could do eventually If it was meant to be, it would be We related, physically, mentally She was fun then, I'd be geek when she come around Slim was fresh, yo, when she was underground Original, pure untapped with a down sister Hey, yo, 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 I miss her Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop Until the beat, y'all, and you don't stop Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop One, two, y'all, and you don't stop Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop Until the beat, yo, comma, be the short shot Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop Check it out, check it, check it out Periodically, I would see Old girl at the clubs and at the house parties Didn't have a body but she started getting Big thick quick word. Did a couple of videos and became Afrocentric Afro Out goes the weave, in goes the braids, bees, medallions Peace. She was on that tip about stopping, stopping the, the violence yes. About my people she was teaching me By not preaching to me but speaking to me In a method that was leisurely so easily I approached She dug my rap, that's, that's how we got, got close But then she broke to the west coast and, and that, that was cool. cool Around the same time I went away to school and I'm a man of expanding, why should I stand in, in her way? way? She probably get her money in LA. Then she did yeah. stuff, she got big pub, but what was foul? She said that the pro black was going, going out of style. She, she said Afrocentricity was of the past. What? She got in the RB, her pals, bass, and jazz. Yes. Black music is black music, and it's all good. I wasn't sorry she was with the boys, boys in the hood, because I was new for her. She was becoming well rounded. I thought it was dope <laughs> how she was on that freestyle Freestyle's shit, yeah. having fun. Not worried about anyone, and you can tell by how I tell these songs. Oh, yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop until the beat, y'all, and you don't stop. Oh, yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. A one, two, y'all, and you don't stop. Oh, yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop to the beat, y'all, and you don't stop. Oh, yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. Rosenberg, E. Bro, would be the short shot. I might have felt a mention that this chick was creative. Once dude got to her, he altered her native. Told her if she got an image and a gimmick She can make money And she what? She, she did, did it like, like a dummy. dummy Now I see her in commercials She's universal Used to only swing it with the inner city circle Now she be in the burbs Looking rockin' dressing hippie And on some bullshit when she come to the city Talking, popping glocks Serving rocks, hitting switches Now she's a gangster rolling with gangster bitches Always smoking blunts, getting drunk Telling me sad stories Now she only fucks with the funk Stressing how hardcore and real she is She was really the real before she got into showbiz, I did her Not just to say I did it, but I'm committed But so many niggas in it, she's just not the same Letting all these niggas do her I see Mark slamming her and taking her to the sewer I'ma take her back, hoping that the shit stop Who I'm talking about, y'all? Hip-hop! Hip-hop, 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 hip-hop,
Yeah. It's a long time ago. It's a long, yeah, it's long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Give me cool. time. Give me cool. time. Cool. We cool. Yeah, that was, it was all love. It was all love. But, I mean, I had to say what I said. And, and, you know, I was just really talking about the gimmicks of the whole thing. Right, right. You know, because at a certain point, it's like, really what sparked me to write that, too. At one point, I was watching some videos, and I was like, man, I saw some East Coast artists Talking about hitting switches a lot, and I was like, "Man, come on, y'all don't do that on the East Coast." Like, right. that. Right. so was that an Eric Sermon shot? No, nah, no, nah, that wasn't Eric Sermon, but it was just that. It was more than Eric Sermon that was talking about hitting, hitting switches. switches. Okay, I had too much love for E Double to to, 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 <laughs> to put a shot on the record, but it just was like, I just was like, man. One thing I loved about hip hop was like I knew what Queens was because of Nas and because of Mob Deep. I knew what Brooklyn was because of Biggie. You know. So I was, I liked that our tribes was talking about where we was from and like and it was the it, there was a geography that was tied to f clothes and yeah, cars yeah. and a, a way of life. I yes. mean, it's probably also what made you comfortable. Like you've spent so much time in your life in New York, For and sure. you were comfortable with it probably because of hip hop. Because of it hip -hop, gave you man. the sort of foundation. It definitely like. You know, I ain't gonna front. Just sometimes coming, I would be like, I want to see these places because you hear people rap rapping about it. I I actually did a version of the bitching you that the Havoc produced that never came out, and I went to I went to to um hmm. to Queens, and I was like, I want to see the Forty First Side of Vernon. I want to see. They took me through the bridge, you know, the, the Queens Bridge project. What happened to the Havoc version of? We bitch? never released it, man. And Havoc was on it during the chorus, and it was just man, it was a crazy. Where's that at? I don't know. I'm Let's hit so up Havoc and find out if he's. Yeah, I'm going to hit Havoc. <laughs> if Havoc it's has unlabeled that. on some hard yeah, drive somewhere. somewhere with other the class. Because, you know, Havoc will throw shit out. Havoc, Havoc's the kind of producer he will, where Prodigy and, and Alchemist will have to be like, no, 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 don't get rid of that. that right. I forget which record it is. It's Quiet Storm. One of those records almost got thrown out because Havoc right. will just be like, ah, that's not a good one. I'm going to the next one. Dude, Havoc, man. Them beats, man. I'll be, I'll be listening to um, the infamous over and over, like it's crazy. You know what else I've been listening to, man? Daylight, Daylight Soul need more love. Well, man. they're getting like, it right now, though. They're yeah. getting a nice. They, they're the, getting their, it. Their when catalog it, really helps. It helped, man. When it got on streaming, I've been like working out. Yo, man, this that stuff. Daylight's Dead album. There's so much in there, bro. Just the interludes, the beat changes in songs. Man, like there's so much. And you're, on, and you're on one of my favorite Daylight songs of all time, man. Dude, the business is is one of my favorite Daylight records. When the business. When I got to do the business, man, that was a stamp that I had. <laughs> that was like when De La Soul put me on the record and it was like, that was for so many people. For me, I was like, when they even asked me to now, be that was on a it, huge look. I was like, man, this is incredible. And then like my my homies, I remember writing the rhyme. I was saying it to them in the back in the backyard. They was like, this nigga gonna be on a daylight record. Like, and <laughs> and and I'm and man, it just really because I didn't when coming out, I didn't have like a whole crew. That, so it was like to get a stamp from De La Soul and to be on their record, they they was the first ones that took me to London, and it just was like a whole nother level for me. It's so hard, I always pay homage to them. It's respect. hard for people to realize how big a look that was at the time. They weren't doing features. Yeah. Like, that was kind of before the era where, like, there was mad features on an album. Yeah. There, and, might, have been, there might be one other one on Balloon Minds. I mean, yeah. um, on Stakes is High. Stakes is High, There's not a yeah. lot of features on there. You know yeah. what I mean? Man, that's man. Calm, common. Rashid, as you may come to learn his name is later. We're right, right. Rashid, Rashid Lynn. Lynn. Yes. Check out Silo on Apple TV Plus. My brother, thank you for always thank coming you, by the program. Thank and thanks brother. for blessing thank us you. with that thank little I used to love a piece right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.